Uh, Haxi Ruhol Azam was reportedly granted asylum in France uh, years ago. Uh, so he was reportedly based there. And like many dissident journalists these days, he did much of his work online. He got much of his notoriety in late 2017, 2018 for his alleged role in fueling the protests throughout Iran during that time. In late 2017, you'll recall, many Iranians started to protest the high prices of gases and basic uh, goods throughout the country. And Iranian authorities accused Zam of fueling these protests by using his online presence, his website, his channel in the popular messaging app Telegram to provide information, timing, so more people could participate in those protests. Authorities also accused Zam of using his Telegram channel to show people how to make gas bombs. He had proclaimed his innocence all along. Nevertheless, at some point last year, Iranian authorities found him. It's not clear how they found him, uh, where they found him. Uh, they charged him, tried him, and convicted him. And despite protests by various human rights groups and the government of France, Zam was executed uh, today. Iran takes very seriously movements and individuals that threaten uh, the government, that want to overthrow the government. And many analysts say it's very likely that Iran executed Azam as an example to send the message that these kinds of activities will not be tolerated. Now, Reza, Iran is, of course, consistently criticized abroad for its human rights abuses. How, if at all, is this latest execution likely to impact Iran's attempt to renegotiate its nuclear deal? Yeah. Well, well Haxi, executions never help the perception that Iran's adversaries have of Iran. That perception and that narrative is that Iran does abuses human rights, that there's no social freedom, no press freedom, no political freedom. And it's very likely that Iran's adversaries, especially Western powers, will point to this execution as proof. However, I think the stakes are so high in the nuclear deal when it comes to both Iran and European powers. The stakes are so high to ease tensions, to restore cooperations, that it's very unlikely that this one execution is going to derail efforts, again, especially from European powers who want to restore the nuclear deal. But make no mistake, it's very likely that Western powers and human rights groups are going to point to this execution today as proof that why Iran should not be negotiated with.